it is another month, so I'm showing you guys another month's worth of groceries here on my channel. So I went shopping three different times this month for my groceries. The first couple weeks I went to Walmart, then I went to Costco for my meats. I always go to Costco for all my meats. I just find the best prices there, and then I just like how they individually package their meat, so I could just take them out of the freezer and throw them in warm water to defrost. And then I went to um, Walmart for the last couple weeks. So um, I'm pretty much showing you guys three different grocery hauls in one video. I did this on my last grocery haul and you guys seem to like it. So first I'm showing you guys my Walmart grocery haul and then the next the Costco one and then back over to another Walmart grocery haul. I hope you guys all enjoy it and if you are new here I'd love to have you over at my channel so go ahead and subscribe down below the video but let's get on to this grocery haul. Here is everything that we picked up from Walmart for the first two weeks of the month. So we're going to start over here at the produce. So right here we have some green onions. I hardly ever buy these, but they add great flavor to, you know, recipes and salads. And then we have some tomatoes on the vine, two limes, a bunch of bananas. If you guys know me, we go through bananas like crazy in my house, especially my baby. And then some avocados. These avocados are not ripe, but they'll be ripe by next week. Lemon juice. Carrots. These are organic carrots. I never buy organic carrots, but that's just what my store had today. I think I'm going to be steaming these for my baby for snacks throughout the week. We have cherry tomatoes for salads. I bought a few plums because they finally have plums at my Walmart and they're such a good snack for babies and for us. <laughs> and then I have some spinach and spring mix, pineapple. Over here we have cuties. We have some frozen cut green beans. I think I'm going to be steaming these for lunches from now on for my baby and for me. And then some white onions just for, you know, recipes. More cut green beans. I bought some hot dog buns. I bought some whole wheat bread. Down here we have some frozen cauliflower, some more frozen cut green beans, and then some broccoli florets. We'll probably go through all these frozen vegetables in one week. I just like to feed my baby a lot of frozen vegetables, whether she eats them or not. And then I bought some cheese. I go through cheese a lot, and you guys are probably going to be surprised this week. My little dairy section is not big. I just got cheese for my dairy. I know, I'm crazy. But anyways, I just got two gallons, or I guess these are, oh yeah, they're half gallons, of um, almond milk. One is vanilla, one is original, so we'll see how we like almond milk. And then I got this just for a treat for myself. This is just a cherry vanilla drink. It's just like a flavored spring water. And then some pepperoni. I think I'm going to be doing some pepperoni pizza soon. Some turkey hot dogs. I got some um, dry salami just for snacks. And then some hummus. This was a pretty good price and I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier recently. And then I got some crackers to go along with the hummus and my baby likes these Brits. And then I got 60 eggs. You guys already knew that though. <laughs> I got quick oats for my husband. He loves oats. And then for my beans, yes, I did get a lot of beans, but you guys would be surprised how fast we go through beans in this house. I feel like every um, recipe that calls for beans calls for like two or three cans. So we got two cans of navy beans, three cans of cant cantalini beans, and then three cans of black beans, and then how many cans of pinto beans? Like seven cans of pinto beans. It's a lot of pinto beans. And then a bunch of dark red kidney beans. Yep, that was a lot of beans, but like I said before, we'll go through them in like no time at all. And then for our meat, we just have these little pork chops. That's all the meat I bought. Um, my husband just graduated from college and these are his favorite little ice cream treats ever. So I bought him some of these. I know it will make him so happy. My husband's also been asking for some balsamic vinaigrette. So I bought him that. And then um, hickory barbecue wavy chips. Those are my husband's favorite. And then you guys, I got the cutest blanket ever for only a dollar. It's a Better Homes and Gardens brand. I am so excited about it. It's just so cute to me. But anyways, my baby needed diapers. I never buy diapers at Walmart. 
I always buy them at Costco. Costco has their diapers $8 off every six months or so. So it brings their Costco diapers down to only like about $20 for like three times as much of diapers as these. So, I mean, this is an okay price. Not the best, but my baby needed diapers. Anyways, I bought my baby a whole bunch of baby food. She's not really been liking vegetables recently. She's only been eating a lot of fruit. So I thought maybe if I went back to some baby foods, she'd eat her vegetables more. And then, you know, my baby is bottle fed, so we had to get a bunch of Similac. Just the Similac Advanced because my baby no longer likes the Costco formula, unfortunately. And then I bought this again for my baby. It's just this multigrain banana apple strawberry. My baby is super, super little still. So I'm trying to fatten her up to the best of my ability. But, you know, she'll eat what she wants when she wants. Anyways, so that is our huge first part of the month grocery haul. It's kind of a lot of stuff, I know. But now let's get on to the second part of the month. Here is everything that I just got from Costco just now. I don't typically show you guys all the meat we get in a month just because I get it at Costco. But this week I had to go to Costco just because we were all out of meat, unfortunately. So to start, I got this big eight pack value pack of these puffs. They're just like little cereal things my baby could snack on during the week. I never buy these, but oh well, I bought them today. They're just blueberry, banana, and strawberry apple. I hope my baby likes them. And then I also got these for my baby. I never buy bananas or produce at Costco just because it's a little bit more money, but my baby's been asking for bananas every single day and we've been out for two days, so I got her some bananas. And then I got two bags of mild cheddar cheese. These are each two and a half pounds. I really like the cheese at Costco. What I do is I sort these, so I'll go ahead and put this half of this in a um, quart size bag and then I'll freeze the rest. So that's what I do for that. And then I got five dozen more eggs. So in my last haul, the Walmart haul, I also got five dozen eggs, but they were, all tasted really, really bad. So something was wrong with those. We had to throw them out. So we're going to give these Costco five dozen eggs a shot. I really, really hope they're good because my baby likes eating eggs every day and I was not happy with the last eggs. Over here we got some Foster Farms chicken breasts. I never ever buy the Foster Farms chicken, but that's seriously all they had. Typically I buy chicken breasts like this. They're just the Costco brand. And this is what I normally buy. It's just like individually suction packaged like this. So I could just pull it out and put it in a pot of some hot water to defrost it during the day. But they were all out of these unfortunately. So I had to buy these big huge chicken breasts. And you know that is okay. These will still work out fine. And then over here for another meat product we got is some salmon. This is just the Costco pre-packaged salmon. They look like that. I found this is my favorite salmon from Costco just because it is pre-packaged and you know it's just easy for me to take out and put it in some hot water along with ground beef. Okay so these are five individual one pound packages of ground beef. These are 85 lean 15 fat. They are also individually packaged. You guys will see I always buy individually packaged meat. It's just because like it makes my life so much easier with a baby. All I have to do is take out the meat from the freezer and throw it in some hot water. That's just what I love doing so I don't have to touch any meat. Over here, we got coffee. I don't drink coffee, but my husband does. This is three pounds of coffee. It's a pretty good price. He really likes it, but that's for him. And then over here, this is a treat. I just got some pepperoni pizza for myself because I was pretty hungry through the store, so that's what I got for myself. And then, hooray, they had paper towels. I always buy the Costco brand of paper towels just because it's the best bang for your buck, in my opinion. So I just got a big, huge thing of those. And then moving down here is toilet paper. Yay, they had toilet paper. So this is probably gonna last us like six to nine months. This is a whole bunch of toilet paper. And it's the Marathon brand. The Marathon brand is a little bit cheaper than the Costco brand. It's not as nice as the Costco brand, but 
we are on a tight budget right now, so that's just what we have to do. But here is our meat and a little extra stuff from Costco this month. So we made it to the last couple weeks of the month, and here is everything we picked up. So we're just going to start over here with these kiwis. I really like to buy kiwis like this. This is just like a two pound little package of them. And then over here we have some cherry tomatoes, some yellow Idaho potatoes. This is a five pound bag. My store was actually all out of russet potatoes for some reason. And then we have some cuties, some white onions, some spinach and spring mix. This week I just bought a little container of this just because I didn't think we needed the entire container because it's kind of been going bad on me a little bit quickly. So over here we bought some iceberg lettuce. I bought two heads of broccoli. This is for a coffee cat Panera Bread um, video. I will link that down below if you guys want to watch it. It's so, so yummy. And then over here I bought two little bushels of avocados. These were pretty good price. I really like buying avocados because my baby likes to eat them. And then over here I bought some sweet peas. I buy typically the Great Value sweet peas, not the bird's eye, just because Great Value is about 20 cents cheaper for this bag, but they did not have Great Value, so I had to spend a little bit more, but that's totally fine. And then over here we have some um, strawberries. This is a lot of strawberries, but my baby's found that she likes strawberries now, so anything to get my baby to eat healthy. And then over here are two limes two lemons, and then two zucchinis. I'm hoping to grow zucchinis this summer, so hopefully my garden produces that. Well, actually, I haven't even planted my garden yet, so hopefully I'm able to plant my garden. And then over here, I have two loaves of Dunford bread bakers, Dunford baker's bread, some fresh spinach. I'll probably um, rinse this and then wash it and then freeze it. Over here is some Greek vanilla yogurt, some Colby Jack cheese, and some sour cream, and then some cheese tortellini. I brought the frozen this week just because it's a little bit cheaper. And then over here are some carrots, bananas. You guys know I stock up on bananas. My baby eats them like crazy, so whatever. And then some um, cheese. This is just for cheese for sandwiches. And then the meat I bought is this premium turkey. It's like carving board turkey. I've never bought it, but I thought I would just give it a shot. Over here, I got two cans of this red chili enchilada sauce. I go through that pretty quickly in my house. And then sun-dried tomatoes. I've been looking at a few recipes that call for sun-dried tomatoes, so I picked that up. I always buy the sun-dried tomatoes with um, Italian herbs, just to let you know. And then over here, we bought some pineapple. I found this crock pot barbecue pineapple recipe. So I think I'm going to use this with it. I'm kind of excited for that because I love barbecue, like sweet barbecue. And then I bought um, two little blocks of cream cheese. I'll probably freeze one of them. I like freezing my cream cheese because, you know, I could just pull it out and use it when I need it. Two bags of baked barbecue chips. I love these chips. I probably shouldn't have bought two, but you know, I needed a treat. And then I bought these Takis. They're super hot. I started eating them on the way home. I don't know, just a little treat for myself, I guess. And then back here I got some salsa. And then I have some quick oats. This is just for my husband. And if you hear my baby crying in the background, my husband is putting her to sleep right now. And then we have some bite-sized tortilla chips, like I said before. The bite-sized chips are always cheaper of the Great Value ones, and then I got some Great Value Corn Flakes. These are like a super good price, and I'm so excited. I'm going to be making a baked um, chicken wing recipe out of it, a boneless chicken wing recipe. So, I'm so excited for that little guy. And then over here we have some um, pork chops. This is just like $5.11 for about five pork chops. I buy my pork chops at Walmart. And then I got some CeraVe. This is what I use for my baby's lotion. I know this is kind of what brought us over budget this month, but that's fine. Anything for my daughter. And then over here is this face wash for me and then toilet bowl cleaner. I know you guys do not care about that at all. And then I finally, finally found disinfecting wipes. Oh my goodness, my store has been out for the longest time. I actually had to climb on a shelf to get this. 
I'm so, so excited, but this is what also put us over budget for the month, but I mean, who cares? I could finally clean my countertops in my house and feel happy about it, but here is everything we got for the last couple months, for the last couple weeks out of the month. And that wraps up this huge grocery haul. I'll put the price of the total of everything right here. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And I'd love to have you over at my channel. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video so you guys could see my next grocery haul. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.